I would like to thank the presenters for those brilliant presentations. My name is Patrick Mwesguam from Uganda. I work for, for a regulator in Uganda. Um, uh, from the discussions we've had so far, uh, me as a regulator would be concerned whether we should have a deadline uh, after which we should discourage production of uh, IPv4 equipment. Uh, do you think there is a need for an international agreement on the kind of timelines we can have uh, to continue using um, IPv4? Or since the it, uh, IPv, IPv4 equipment can, co can uh, operate properly in parallel with the IPv6, uh, there probably could be no reason why we should have uh, a deadline for uh, ceasing to use IPv4. Uh, I want guidance on that, on that aspect. Thank you. All right. I think I'm going to ask Adil uh, to make a comment, and then um, we'll take Eric from thereafter. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll make a comment, and uh, as we have, uh, we have uh, an equipment uh, vendor here, so he will he will give us a perspective. But well, yeah, that that could be a, a simplified way of seeing the the thing by uh, setting a date. But I'm, I'm sure that uh, um, this is something that will be, will be taken care of by the market because what will happen is that more and more people will now be asking uh, for equipment which are IPv6 compatible. Um, so a vendor, and, and that's why it is very critical to see that uh, uh, the business model of, the, of IPv6 is really uh, um, the continuation of doing business in reality because vendor will uh, be forced to propose equipment which are IPv6 ready by themselves because they want to sell them. They, they, they cannot continue selling IPv4 compatible equipment when the next generation of the Internet is IPv6. So it is where the uh, awareness campaign is very important so that end user operators know that when they are planning their network, they integrate IPv6 factors in the um, 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 future that they request from, from their vendor. So having a deadline uh, will probably not solve the issue that is, is raised here. Really. Thank you, Adil. Eric or, or Jean? Jean? I just want to say, I mean, there is the, the, the development that's currently happening in the standardization field is that we're trying to ma make sure that this equipment can coexist for the foreseeable future. Doing forest upgrades doesn't carry any, any economical value because there is no additional revenue. As we said before, there is no new services that you can provision or IPv6 that can pay for a forest upgrade. So from a, from a financial point of view for the operators, that, that doesn't make sense. Rather, working on a, on a technology for having these this, um, two protocols coexist and interrupt is, the, is where the operational community is going and where we're seeing most of the technological development at the moment. John. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I would like to echo the previous two speakers. So um, the, I don't think we need a deadline. Um, I think that at least from the vendor community, we feel that we will have a deadline. That's when our customers won't buy, us, uh, won't buy anything that is only V4. So um, I think the market will take care of this. In addition, I would find, though, that interesting, the idea of regulating when V4, V4 only equipment should be avail uh, should not be sold anymore. I would find that problematic because where would you put that point? And if somebody actually needs V4 only equipment, even after the addresses have run out um, from the address pool because they happen to have a V4 network. Um, why wouldn't they have the right to buy that? Um, in addition, I would like to really um, echo that, what Curtis said, which is in IETF, we are working very hard to make sure that we can make the V4 and V6 networks coexist. So really, I don't think that there is a need for such a deadline as such. It will drive the need, and it seems to be driving it currently uh, quite well, actually. Thank you. Right, I'm sorry, we would not be able to take any more questions at this point in time. I believe um, our 
secretary is going to be circulating some of the forms so you could document your questions and we will try to handle them later on. There will be further opportunities for interaction with the audience.